CL uh, family and now the to have a uh, Canadair 515 can scoop 6,000 liters of water in uh, in 12 seconds. Early last week, Canada sent a number of water bombers to help with firefighting efforts in California. One of those planes, this CL-415, based in Quebec. It arrived on January the 7th. On January the 9th, it was hit by a small drone flying in the same area and taken out of service. The aircraft can go very quickly to the fire source, but then when it gets uh, to, the, uh, to the fire zone, because it's um, propeller powered, um, they can go very slowly and be very precise. Neil Sweeney is with de Havilland Aircraft of Canada, the company building these planes today. They're headquartered and largely manufactured in Calgary, also maintaining these offices near Toronto in Mississauga. Sweeney explains this exact aircraft would have been built either in Montreal or North Bay, Ontario in the 90s or early 2000s, explaining both Ontario and Quebec operate large fleets and reminding us drones and planes don't mix. Neither do birds. So anything that can strike an aircraft, whether it be a drone or something else in the air, is, uh, is obviously very, very dangerous. Uh, when you look at the damage to the wing, does this look like it's an easy fix or does this look like something that's going to put the aircraft out of service for a while? Oh no, we've been working uh, very cooperatively with, uh, with Quebec and with the technicians in Los Angeles. We've already sent a part down and I would anticipate that the, that the aircraft will be returned to service very, very, uh, very quickly. When you look at the picture on the wing, you can see it looks like a dent, a fairly obvious dent right there on the wing. Is that the part that you would have sent up a wing, a portion of the wing there? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, something to to repair the uh, to repair the damaged wing. Yes. So once the part gets there, they'll be able to to assess uh, how quickly and the best way to repair it, and then get it back into service uh, uh, ASAP. Neil also saying this line of aircraft is something of a Canadian success story, describing it as the only scooping aircraft of its size and capacity in the world. It was back in the 1960s. Canadians decided we needed to engineer a plane with this sort of aerial firefighting capacity. Canadair, now Bombardier, would build these planes for decades. Then in 2016, Viking Air, now de Havilland, bought the program and continues to produce the latest variant to this day. Canadian aerospace, uh, whether it be located in the west or the east, uh, are really, uh, really exceptional engineers. Um, and, and I think all Canadians can be proud that this is an aircraft built in Canada by Canadians. Uh, for the world. And it turns out it's thanks to some good old fashioned good luck. We were able to send as many of these planes as we have, as this is typically maintenance season for the aircraft in Canada. In Mississauga, David Zura, City News.